Hey friends, Susan Campfield here. Let me shut the door so that uh, we don't hear all the general house noises. Uh, welcome to uh, a Saturday evening video. It is December 11th today, and we are starting to get closer and closer to the holidays. And so we're going to uh, look at uh, gift card holders today. Um, I'm thinking simple. I'm thinking easy. I'm thinking something that could hold cash, something that can hold um, odd size uh, gift card. You know, you get the gift card, but you often have it on like kind of a cardboard thing that tells, um, you know, the amount or, you know, there's a place to write to from and whatnot. So um, we're going to go quick and easy. And we're also going to um, look at paper pumpkin using, look at using a kit to help with that quick and easy. So we're going to do one that is um, with uh, products from the mini catalog, and then we're going to do one that's with a paper pumpkin kit. So um, good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. We've got, uh, let's see, Jen is here. Bonnie is here. Deb's here from New, uh, New South Wales, Australia. Welcome. It's uh, what morning for you there? Late morning, maybe early afternoon. Uh, hi, Kathy. Hi, Jean. Carol's here. Excellent. Thanks so much for tuning in. You're not going to see me tonight because I'm scruffy, man. <laughs> Saturday, we had a big snowstorm yesterday, the first big snowstorm of the season. We got about 12 inches in our area, um, although a lot of it melted like when it was falling. So it's really only like eight inches or so. And uh, I took the dogs for a four mile walk and I haven't showered and I'm wearing sweats. And <laughs> so you're just going to see this stuff. Okay. Um, and I am hi Michelle from White Bear Lake. Yeah. Yeah. You know about our snow, don't you? So pretty though, you guys. Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, so let's go ahead and get started again. We're going to go quick and easy. It's the holidays. We're busy. Um, we're in a rush, but we've got, we've got lots of stuff. Let's use what we got, right? So I'm going to use a designer paper that is retiring. Um, it is called Sweet Little Stockings. It's so cute. If you have friends that have pets or you're a pet person, this is perfect. Um, many of you know I'm a pet person. <laughs> I have dogs. I used to have cats many, many moons ago, um, but there are other papers that you could certainly use. Um, so I'm going to use this particular pattern right here. This one is adorable. I love this. I mean, any of these would work. Like you could use all of them. You could make up a whole pile of gift cards. Look at the little corgi with the sweater. If you don't, Even if you don't do pets, I mean, it's just adorable. Or of course, there's the stockings. There's the Christmas lights. Lots of options there. And again, keep in mind, we're going to keep it simple, right? That is our goal. Barbara says, oh, Rochester, you got six or seven inches. I thought you guys were going to get even more than us because I think it in the cities here, the Southern Metro got more than the Northern Metro. So I, anyway, it, it was very localized. Some areas got not so much and um, some got more. So um, excellent. Let's go ahead and get started here. And again, our watchword tonight is easy. So if you catch me making it too hard, you call me out on it, okay? You say, nope, we're going to go easy. Um, Jean says, uh, worked at the tree farm. Yes. Yeah, so I, I, um, I just came back from uh, my family's Christmas tree farm in Southern Iowa. And it's been kind of a, a busy week, but um, it was fun. And uh, back home now. And I have a little bit of a different setup here. So I would love your feedback on the... Um, where my phone, this is my phone that I use for my video. I'm going to wiggle it there so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, and it seems to me a little bit farther from my surface than I would like. And I can lower it. Um, I can't do it while we're, we're live because it would involve doing some moving things around, but I can later. So I would love your feedback on that. Um, and also the lighting I've changed up a little bit. So, um, let me know your thoughts. I appreciate it so much. And let's go ahead and we're going to start with stamping. So I've got my sweet little stocking stamp set here. I've got the um, Christmas greetings uh, stamp uh, on my block. I didn't measure this paper. I don't know what size it is. I just, there was a scrap on my desk and I chopped it off um, and I'm going to cut it down to size. So it's starting out at four and a half by three fourths inches. I know the width is right, but the length, um, 
the link might need some adjusting. So you know what I'm actually going to start with? Let me start with my punch here. So this is the, uh, this is a banner punch. This one's super cool because it's called pick a banner and you can do many, many sizes. So this can make six different sizes of banners, some with the fishtail, some with the, I don't know what you call that, a chevron maybe. Um, so I'm going to use the fishtail banner and I'm just going to slide that all the way into my punch and punch it. This is going to give me an idea of how long this will be. So it doesn't, I don't know if you want to see how much it, it doesn't take off very much, maybe a quarter inch, I think I would call that. And then I'm going to take Cherry Cobbler and I'm going to ink up the Christmas greetings uh, message and I'm going to stamp it here closer to that fishtail side. And I'm using Cherry Cobbler ink because that is what is in my paper. If you're using a different paper, pick up whatever's in the paper. And these are actually the same pattern. If you can see the pattern on the back here. So, um, and so this is going to go on my, my uh, um, finished piece here. Now this is a little bit longer than I need. Um, so I'm going to trim it down. Now I also could cut another fishtail banner on this end, um, but I'm just going to keep that in straight. You know, you could do it either way. Um, I could put this in the trimmer, but I'm too lazy. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my paper snips and I'm going to cut it as straight as I can. And I think it, that's going to work. So um, again, super simple. Like I should be timing this. Like This should be like a five minute deal, right? Like you should be able to crank out a whole bunch of these. So I'm going to take my paper here. Now, both of these are cut four by five and a half. Let's grab a paper trimmer. I took one to the farm and uh, it's still in the bag, but fortunately I have two of everything. <laughs> well, not everything, but some things I have more than two of, cause you know, I need it. So I am going to score this. Let me think about this real quick here. How far down do I want this? So I am, I'm gonna fold this under. And so it, this is totally adjustable, totally what you, whatever you want, right? It's, it's, um, like, don't overthink this. I, I am such a bad overthinker. I think I'm going to score it at one inch. Let's see what we think about that. You can do yours however you want. Now, the scoring blade is the light gray. The dark gray is the cutting. And I don't want to cut. So I'm going to go with the scoring. I always say I should mark these, you know, like with a labeler. And yeah, it never happens. All right. So I'm going to pick that up. I think we can put that guy away. I won't have him go too far in case I need it. I think I'm going to need him again. So I've scored it at one inch and folded that under. Again, it could be three fourths inch. It could be uh, the other one I'm going to show you is three fourths inch. Um, this one I did a full inch. So that now shows some of that cute paper behind. And I'm going to take some tear and tape. You could also take. Um, you know, a tape runner, liquid glue, whatever. This is designer series paper. So it's not, um, not super heavy. You know, it's, it's pretty lightweight. So uh, maybe I don't need the big guns adhesive here, but I'm going to go for it because I might be putting something kind of, some of the gift cards are kind of heavy, you know? Um, so I'm just going to, sure you are, Susan. <laughs> I'm going to use my paper piercer or my, uh, take your pick tool here with the pokey part attached and uh, just get the ends of that. Oh gosh, darn it. It ripped in the middle. Wouldn't you know that one behaved. Let's see. I should be watching to see if you guys, hopefully you can see this. Okay. There. Let's get that end up. Ha. Huh. Tried to, tried to trick me, but I won in the end. Okay. So we've got our five and a half by four and our five and a half by four that's been scored at one and folded under. I am making a super duper simple pocket, just a simple pocket. I am not putting adhesive on the sides though, because I want this to be an easy open, easy load kind of deal. So it's literally just like that. And I have that, um, I put the adhesive on the outside. So it's, um, the seam will be hidden on the inside. So now we've got our greeting here and I'm just going to take this and trim this down 
talk amongst yourselves. Oh, no, I don't have to. It's perfect. Okay, good. I thought that one was whiter. All right. So I have got my, my banner greeting here. And you can put that, you know, gosh, wherever you want. Um, I am going to pop that up on dimensionals. Please tell me I have some dimensionals. I do. Oh, my gosh. I have a lot of dimensionals. I could really go to town here. In fact, I think I'm going to put on three because I can. <laughs> of course, we always have those leftover edges. This is a perfect opportunity to use leftover edges to stretch our supplies, don't we? All right. So we've got our little Christmas greetings right there. And I'm going to peel the backing pieces off of these right here. Oh, you're not late, Debbie Spicer. You are just on time, perfectly on time. There's no late, right? Oh, where do I want it? Do I want it flush? I think I want it flush with the side. Um, do we need to see the cute toes of this guy? I love the kitty in the box because I used to have cats, as I said, and they loved boxes, bags, whatever it was, they would be in it immediately, especially if they didn't fit. <laughs> All right, so I've got my greeting on there. Again, we want, we're want we going quick and easy, and so you guys are going to keep me on task here. Now, I have a very fancy item here. This is called a paperclip, but it's kind of fancy because it's gold. Um, I got these at an office supply store. Um, if you don't have gold, you can totally use silver, right? And that is going to super fancy uh, close our, um, our project here. Now I'm going to add a little bit of ribbon on here. And I'm looking at my ribbon stash to see what, um, what would be good. I am not hundred percent sure if this one is, this one might have sold out, um, but I'm going to use it because I have it because we're using what we have. This is cherry cobbler and gold, which uh, kind of goes, you know, what else would be pretty? Um, just gold would be super pretty with this. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to use cherry cobbler though. So kind of got cherry cobbler happening. So I'm going to thread that. Sure you are, Susan. <laughs> so your paper clip has this end that slides on things right down here. And this end is going to be not doing anything. So that end is going to get prettied up with a ribbon. Hope that makes sense. Yep, we're just going straight up paper clip here. We're using things we have around the house because this is the holidays and we're busy and we're just going to grab what we have and we're going to use it up, right? I know we like to hoard that pretty paper, but the pretty paper, the cute paper, it really works great for um, a presentation, a gift. This is a gift, right? So we want to make it look nice, but we're short on time. So we also want it to be fast. <laughs> So I'm just trimming, sorry, I'm off camera there, trimming those tails off my little ribbon there, and that's going to slide on. Of course, you could add gems, you could add rhinestones, whatever you want. I'm going to slide this down a little bit so it looks like the bow is kind of coming off. So what do we put in our gift card? Well, let's talk about that. What can we put in our gift card? Well, here's something that many people, especially the, um, the younger adult set really enjoy as a gift, right? Um, I, you can't do it all the way because it's not going to fit in a standard envelope. So you can fold up the bottom a bit so that some of the, the uh, amount is showing at the top, um, just like that. So we've got, we can put the green, good old green in there. That's always a valuable gift, correct? And what else can we put in there? So this is a this is a Best Buy gift certificate that's not really a gift certificate. It's like got a, the code on it. You buy it this way. I don't think there's even a, I don't know, it's kind of stiff in the middle, but you don't like, there's no actual card. It's just like, you see these at the grocery store. There's one for restaurants, different ones, and they're just a piece of cardboard. And that can go right in here. Got the amount kind of poking out at the top. It's just a super cute way to decorate. Something that, I don't know, sometimes when I get give a gift card, I feel a little bit like I'm cheating. <laughs> um, but it's what they really want, right? Like, I want to give people a useful item. I want to give them something they would actually use. So um, the other thing that you can put in here is, did you know that I offer gift certificates? 
So uh, I actually had one of my customers uh, told her husband, this is what I want for Christmas. And he, uh, she gave him my number. Um, you can also give him my email. And he uh, called me up and said, um, yeah, my, my wife wants this. Uh, so I made a gift certificate. I will show you the holder I made. For, I do make a, a holder for that. And um, I use paper pumpkin for that. So I'm going to show you that next. But uh, a gift certificate works in here beautifully as well. So there is our down and dirty, super easy gift card holder, money holder, whatever. And it's literally just two pieces of super cute designer paper connected together. You could also do one um, when you're doing the same pattern like this, one long piece. I did two separate because I didn't want the dogs to be upside down on the back because they're cute too, right? So, so simple, you guys. So, so simple, right? But cute. Like, I mean, I would love getting that. I would be thrilled to get that. So that's, that's one. Let's take a look at Paper Pumpkin. So Paper Pumpkin is a, uh, a kit, a subscription kit that Stampin' Up! offers. This was the November, I believe. Let's look. Yep, November Paper Pumpkin. It was called Gifts Galore. And um, you, you can't get this anymore. If you were a subscriber, you would have gotten this. Um, there is a new one uh, that just started the subscription process. It is um, going to be for Valentine's Day. So that one you have up until January 10th to subscribe for that. Um, and it's really cute. It's cards, um, Valentine cards, and there's an add-on kit if you want to do treat holders. So that's a purchasable add-on. This one was also treat holders, which are adorable. And so it comes with these little, um, little boxes that you, uh, kind of nest down in there and then some cute little bags that go inside. I'm not using any of that stuff. <laughs> I'm using it a different way, right? Because we can. So let me show you uh, what I did here. So should we do should we do the snowman? Because he is so cute, you guys. Um, there's, gosh, I, there's more in here than I thought. Um, I have already done two of these snowman, and I have four left. So I'm going to take that to mean that there's six of each. So let me grab. There's also Christmas trees, and there's also presents bunch of these bunches and bunches so if you have not used your paper pumpkin from november if you're a subscriber this is an idea of what you can do to uh, make gift into gift card holders you could put a receipt or a coupon for gifts stuck on a ship this is a good point jean because uh or a photo right because let's face it in this holiday season um we are probably going to be ordering things online from different places that are not that are not going to make it in you know, it's just what we're going to have to do this year. And sometimes I do that. There, That usually happens to me a couple times a year. I order something and it gets delayed or I just ordered it late. And so um, you can put print out a picture and stick it in this cute gift card holder, right? And um, show them the picture. That's a great idea, Jean. I love it because we're going to be dealing with that this year. So um, we're going to take the, this little guy and we want some designer paper though. Now this kit didn't have designer paper. You could just use a piece of cardstock. That's totally true. Um, I'm going to use designer paper because I have it <laughs> and I want to use it up. Right. So hang on, bear with me. Okay. I'm getting it out. All right. All right, I'm going to give you guys options. Sorry, that took a while. It took longer than I intended. So this is the Gingerbread and Peppermint um, Designer Series paper. And I might have used up, already used up the one. Oh, no, no. So I'm just going to try some different ones here. He's got a, his carrot nose is old olive. <laughs> it's like, does that make it some, does that mean it's a moldy carrot? <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's, it's super cute, whatever it is. So um, and this one, uh, in this poppy parade in here, this paper is actually real red. So I probably don't want to do a pattern that's uh, a ton of red because um, it's a little bit different color. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, I like this one, guys. Okay, I got a winner. I'm happy with that. I'm going to go with this pretty um, old olive that has kind of almost like a lacy pattern to it. And remember that paper trimmer that I kept nearby. We're going to grab that now. So I have my, um, my little snowman here. 
I want to score. Do you remember how on our first one, I scored my designer paper uh, one inch. This one I'm actually gonna do at three fourths inches. So I'm gonna line up the flat bottom of my snowman in my uh, with a three inch, a three fourths inch mark on my trimmer. I'm gonna grab my scoring blade, give it a few rubs there, pressing down firmly. And there I have, so there I have uh, um, my scored part. Now, before I take this too far away, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. This one I'm actually going to cut four and a quarter. If you recall the last one, I cut four. This one I'm going to do four and a quarter by five and a half. So you might be wondering, what, Susan, why did you score the bottom of the snowman? Um, you know, he's so cute. Uh, partly because I wanted to make him a little bit smaller. I wanted him to, whoops, what did I just do? I meant to cut and I scored. Um, <clears throat> I, I, apparently I need to not talk when I'm, when I'm doing math. <laughs> um, so anyway, with um, I want this to fit in an envelope and this guy is pretty tall. So I am folding this down. He's also wider than I need or want because it won't fit in an envelope. So I'm going to do a little customization here. I am going to take a pair of scissors. This is my, pa my paper snips. I love these. And I'm going to just start cutting. Oh, I know I'm cutting a snowman. It's terrible. Um, it's okay. A little surgery. And I'm going to just follow the curve of his scarf. Okay. Um, uh, this one is, is the only one that is a little bit more of a fussy cut. The other ones, I literally, the presents and the tree, I just chopped off the side a little bit. And I'll show you that in a minute. So I've just done that. And I was thinking, gosh, you know what? You could even make this into be like his little arm holding something. I didn't get that fancy because, again, I'm going for down and dirty, quick and easy, right? Now, if you have this paper pumpkin kit... Um, it would have come with some tear and tape. And so you can use that. If you have tear and tape on hand, you can use that. You can use liquid glue. Again, let's use what we have because that is our goal tonight. I keep whacking my head on this light. It's kind of funny. It doesn't hurt. It's just funny that I keep doing that. Um, so I want to put the adhesive on the front of the snowman, which I know that seems a little bit odd. Um, but that's where you want it. I'll show you the one I <laughs> forgot to do that to. Um, so I'm going to rub that down and I'm going to pull the backing off of the tape here. See if this goes a little better than that first one. Goodness, what sort of drunken sailor put this on? I... <laughs> oh, goodness. I got it above the score line, you guys. It's okay. I think I can reposition it down below. <laughs> oh, never a dull moment. There we go. Take my adhesive eraser to get the rest of that off. All right. So I've, I've got that folded up and I'm just going to line it up here with the bottom of my um, paper. And I'm lining up the snow, the snowman's uh, tummy or side here with the side of the designer paper. Rub that across. I've got a little bit of sticky residue here. Oh, seriously? <clears throat> you know what I, what annoys me is when I don't put things back where they belong. <laughs> so I'm going to grab a really old adhesive eraser that is super gummy and messy, but it does the job. So there we go. There we got that little bit off. All right. So super simple again the same idea of that little score and that uh, they're making a pocket that is just held together at the bottom now this cute paper pumpkin kit actually comes with paper clips and they're little tiny baby ones so maybe you could find these at the office supply store or around your house or whatever um, but that is going to be our closure now we're going to use um, the stamp set that came with the paper pumpkin kit we're going to use the, comes with these labels and things. I'm going to use this circle that punches out. And I'm going to use this one that says, oh, what fun. 
because gifts are fun. Fun to give, fun to receive. I'm using... <laughs> <clears throat> I am using Poppy Parade. Bear with me. I need to wipe that off because we know what's going to happen if I don't. Hang on. Just grab a tissue there. I already messed up one earlier when I got ink on myself and then got it on my project. Okay. I don't think it's going to come off now. All right. Back to uh, the work at hand here. So, oh, what fun. And I'm going to ink that up in Poppy Parade. Nice and juicy here. And I'm just going to stamp that on my circle. And then I'm going to kind of a little light. Okay, I'm going to flip it over and try again. And then we'll pick the side that we think is best. <laughs> I think I might need to re-ink my Poppy Parade pad, you guys. I also would not, would behoove me to be using the cushion here. All right. Oh, that one side's better. Okay, that's the winner. We're doing that side. And then um, also in the same stamp set that comes in the paper pumpkin, there are these cute little um, snowflakes. And I'm gonna grab the pool party pad, ink up my snowflakes here. Somewhere in this catastrophe of a stamp desk, I do have the scrap paper to put behind so that I don't get little snowflakes all over my desk. And I'm just stamping the snowflakes around the, the greetings. Just kind of fancying it up a little bit. Okay, so we've got that done. I'm going to close this up. Now the set also comes with um, Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and some long banners that those can go on. In fact, they're very similar to the long banner that we did on our first one here. And then this is just going to go right on top of our snowman. Um, on some of them, I put it out to the side here. I'm not gonna do it with this one because I had that boo-boo on the back and then it would it would show when they open, if they opened it up all the way, you know, which is not really a big deal, but I'd rather them not know I made a boo-boo. You can just do one dimensional. I'm doing two because I can. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna put that right there. Oh, what fun. And then we've got our little paper clip that comes in the kit. And also in the kit, there were these two cute baker twine. Uh, they're white and old olive and then white and poppy parade. So I'm gonna take two strands and just kind of, I don't know, pull off a chunk, <laughs> set those aside. I'm gonna thread those through the end of the paper clip that's not um not going to be doing anything not the slidey end you can move this around all right how did i get those uneven i'm so perfectly lined up hey karen thanks for tuning in we're going quick and easy tonight so i'm going to form my loop wrap this around my thumb i didn't even tie a knot or anything wrap that around my thumb poke the other two loops through the remaining hole if you struggle with bow tying, Baker's Twine is very easy. It's a good way to learn because it, uh, it doesn't flip on you. It, it lies flat. You know, it's just very easy to work with. So I'm going to trim off my ends a little bit here. And we've got our little clip. We just want to clip it down far enough so that it um, hangs on to the snowman. It's just going to be the closure for our project. Oops. These uh, little paper clips are really tight. Like they're strong. Okay. So I want to slide it behind the circle. And we've got our little, oops, I need to tighten that up a little bit. It's a little loosey goosey. Here we go. So there we have our little fancy edge for our uh, gift card holder. And this can just still, hold on. I'm going to futz with it just a little bit. Got my loops a little bigger than I like, and it's not as tight as I would like. There we go. But the snowman is so cute. All right. So there's the snowman one. Now again, same as before, 
what can go in here? Well, we can stick some cash in here. We can stick a, where's my Best Buy gift card that's not really a gift card. The, the cardboard type gift cards fit beautifully in here or the gift cards that come on the cardboard. Um, you can slide it right in there. I am tucking it a little bit under that paper clip to hold it in place. Again, um, you could, you have a, a bestie that is your Stampin' Buddy and you want to get them a gift certificate, uh, shoot me an email and I will uh, put that in a custom pocket and send it to you. Or you can tell your uh, family that this is what you want for Christmas and give them my info and we'll get you a gift card. So that can go right in there. I'll pull that out here. Let me show you the other ones that I did with the paper pumpkin kit. So this is the presents. Let's grab the presents here. And the presents, I just trimmed off this red present that stuck out. I trimmed it off so that it was flush with the pink present. And that made it small enough. Again, I used the gingerbread and peppermint paper. And I've got my little paper clip down here holding it closed. And I used the Happy Holidays. This one, I, I threw in a little bling there uh, for the dot on the eye. Which, you know what, you totally could do. Oh, let's do it on this one, you guys. I can't resist. I said I would keep it simple, and this is simple, right? But you always need a little sparkle, right? I see a sparkle opportunity right here on the exclamation point. <laughs> Come on, let's find a rhinestone that wants to play. There we go. Just a little, little sparkle on the dot there of the explana explanation point. I can't talk tonight. Okay, and then the other one is the tree. So here's the Christmas tree. Um, this one is, again, a little bit different. This one, um, I didn't have to cut anything off of the edge, uh, but I did have to cut off down here. So I squared it three-fourths, and then I actually angle cut it here and here um, so that it would uh, fold up. And this is the one I made the boo-boo on. I forgot to put the tape on the front, and I put it on the back. No, wait, that's not that one. Okay, it was the presents. That was the one I, I should have put the tape on the front side to hide that, and I <clears throat> I didn't. So uh, so make sure you put the, the adhesive on, like in this one, it would be on the front of the tree. And then, and that's it. Like super simple, but so cute, right? And there are so many cute papers and fun things that you could do this with. If you have, uh, you know, punched out items, you could totally do those. Um, a penguin or a snowman would be, you know, super cute, just with some cute designer papers. Lots of fun things that you could do there. Um, just remember that this particular paper, if that is on your wish list, it is, um, things are selling out so fast, you guys. As of this moment, it is still in stock. Um, it is uh, 11.50, it is retiring. The dies that match this paper so that you can die cut out the stockings, which are right here. All of the stockings on that paper can be die cut with the matching stockings. Those dies are 50% off while supplies last. So, um, and I know the, the matte dots here are already on low inventory. So those may not last the day. It just depends on how many orders come in. So those are our easy peasy <laughs> gift card holders for this crazy busy holiday season. And I hope that that was, uh, I hope that's helpful to you. Um, again, super easy. Use what you have and uh, help it uh, ease your stress a little bit this holiday season. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed my videos and you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would encourage you to do so. Um, the nice thing about that is YouTube will let you know when I'm going to go live next time. That's it for tonight, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.